everybody. Nancy here from Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting. I have BB with me. Try and get a picture of her. There she is. She loves to see what I'm doing. Hey, I have an unboxing to share with you today. But first, I, I hope everyone is doing okay with the pandemic and and staying at home, flattening the curve, all those little slogans. I have been home this whole time taking care of my puppy, so she's done. So, um, let me open this package. I really have... I'm not sure exactly what this one is. I ordered a bunch of um, small canvases. And by small, I mean under 30 by 40. Um, to see how they will come out. I ordered them in January. Oh, Charlie's, Charlie's protesting. He must see a neighbor out back. Um, I, like I said, I ordered them in January knowing that I would have to wait till the Chinese New Year was over. And then coronavirus shut down all the factories. And so, here it is, May, and a lot of these are just showing up. And that's okay. I, I was not in a rush I even went in and extended almost all of my orders. You can do that. Give them more time to ship. Because I know how hard it was for them to have all their orders. And then the second they got back, they had to do their past due orders plus new orders. And so, um, I don't worry about shipping times. So, um... My advice is to not stress about it. I see a lot of people on Facebook stressing about the shipping times. Um, I am blessed that I have enough in my stash that I always have a diamond painting to do. So when I order them, I'm okay with them taking a long time. I'm not okay with quality problems, but I'm okay. So that's my advice is to buy a few more than you need that you are actually going to finish and just relax. Don't stress. Life is too short. We have enough stress in the world. So these are all small canvases, what I call small canvases, 25 by 35 full drill square and here is the image on the inventory sheet they're all these beautiful watercolor flowers and I think they're going to come out great in a small canvas because they're simple there's nothing super complicated. Um, they're kind of an impressionist image. So if the detail gets a little lost or washed out, that's fine. Um, I ordered these three together. And when I do this, I look for ones that I think would look nice hanging on the wall side by side. If I were to frame them or put them on a painted canvas okay here's the toolkits I got three of them they're all the same white boat with a funnel pink wax some plastic bags a single drill pen and some tweezers and that's all you need everything you need should come with your kit if it doesn't I would complain um, these were all from AliExpress. So there's the three tool kits. I'm going to set those aside. Let me take a peek at the drills real quick. I just thought these three were so pretty. I tried to get three different color palettes, but I see two of them are 
are blue. One, this one's a little bluish green. But they'll look nice framed with the pink one in the middle. The drills look clean, nice. I don't see a lot of trash in there. Trash are those little pieces you get, like little extra pieces of plastic that float around in there. You get the most of them in the black drills. Um, I don't see any moisture. Looking at the inventory sheet, uh, it all looks good. I will do an inventory on each one of these tonight. And when I put the video up, you can look in the description. There's a little, little down arrow on the right hand side under the video. You tap on that and it opens up the description. And I will put the link where I bought these, how to contact me, inventory information, anything you might need. And if you, there's something you need that you don't see, just send me an email. They're all wrapped around this foam core, which I love. It all came in an envelope, and with the way it was packaged, there's no damage. There's going to be some wrinkles in the paper because of how tightly they were packed, but... You see how tightly this is rolled up. Remember, all you got to do, peel up the paper and then set it down again. And it will release all this rolling. So see this big wrinkle? That's in the paper. That's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. Here we go. Peel this up. It'll release all the tension. Okay, now I see some wrinkles in the glue. But I have really good luck by just taking my little pink box cutter and slicing that glue a little bit. You have to be careful you don't cut all the way through, but you slice the glue a little bit and press down on it again, and it lays flat. Okay, this paper is cut in half, so let me get the other side. There we go. Now, there's a lot of background on this, and it is all one color. So that is going to be a chore. But I do it in small sections, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, there's that. Let me peel this side now. You, baby, are you out there barking? Tell Charlie to come in here. I have a little deck off the back of my apartment, and it's been nice weather. So I've been leaving the door open so the dogs can go in and out. But if you hear that, this is what happens. My dogs are watchdogs. They see anybody or hear anybody or think they hear anybody, they're gonna bark. So I'll have to bring them in, close the door. Look how beautiful that is. Can you see it? Let me. Let me try and get it there. Look at that blossom and all the shading. It's gonna be so nice. Let me try and show it up close so you can see the symbol. See how the background is all one color? Uh, I may even get out a multi-placer for that color block. We shall see. Okay. Let me press this down. 25 by 35, full drill square. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 
20, 27 colors of a little pink blossom. That's pretty good. That's gonna come out real pretty. In my opinion, the more colors, the more realistic it's gonna look. Okay, so that's the first one. I'm trying to unfold another one. I have one weak arm, so doing this is always a little difficult for me. Um, there goes the paper getting all wrinkled up. That is just from the wrapping around a tight foam core. They always look a little better, come out a little better when they're rolled and then put in a tube and protected by the tube. You don't get all the little wrinkles in the glue. This one's looking pretty good. I don't see any blue wrinkles. The paper, you want to make sure it goes back down just right so there's no gaps. Or else you're going to get some dirt in that adhesive. Me, I use a stiff brush on my diamond paintings. As I'm going along, I roll them. I use a brush to get off any dirt or mostly it's hair because I'm a shedder. My dogs don't shed, but I'm a shedder. Yeah, there's some little tiny wrinkles in there. Little ones. I don't know if you can see those. Not even anything I would worry about. Those tend to pop up when the, when the air hits the tape. This is tape, double-sided tape, not poured glue. Let me just pull this down again so you can see the picture. I, this one, I loved the blue colors. And the stem is like a really, really dark, dark blue. You see that okay? There you go. This one doesn't have as many colors. Let me count them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 24 colors. Anything between 20 and 30 is a good range for me. If there's more than that, I am majorly impressed. If there's less than that, it depends on the picture, but usually I will be disappointed. Um, it's like getting a diamond painting and you're really looking forward to it. And it turns out to be a partial with three colors. I just, I just give those away. I can't even bring myself to do them. It doesn't seem to happen to me anymore either. The industry has gotten better about giving all the information or else or else I'm just not buying or else I'm looking harder to get the information because it's very it's very depressing. I'm having trouble with this because it it is rolled so tightly around that foam core. Oh, I really want to yell at the dogs. They're making a lot of noise out there. They're going to come in for the next video. Okay. I think I got it. Oh, no, I'm peeling up the adhesive. If that happens, you lay the paper back down and rub it a little bit. And then I also tend to go to a different corner. Do not keep pulling if you're pulling up the adhesive. Don't do it. You will have a terrible time. Never get that adhesive back down the right way. Um, 
I remember the first time my paper stuck to the adhesive and I didn't know what to do. And I went onto Facebook and somebody, what? You're kidding, right? You don't know what to do? Like, like it was common knowledge. This is a new craft. We're all, we're all starting out. There's no big experts here. There we go. That is so pretty. This little blossom. And two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 25, 27 colors right in the good range. That is going to be beautiful. These are going to be fun to do and fun to frame together when I'm done. So, hey, let me know how you guys are doing in um, isolation. I keep saying I need one of those t-shirts that says I was in isolation before it was cool. Uh, this is not a big change in my life, just more TV to watch. And uh, my husband's still going to work every day. And I'm very grateful for that. And everyone here is healthy. And I hope you are too. I'm glad I have my diamond painting to keep me occupied. Hey, you guys all have a great day. Take good care of yourself. And uh, happy diamond painting. Take care. Bye-bye. Friends, the ducks are demanding food. Charlie just walks right into the water. Baby, such a good girl. Are you a good girl? Are you gonna wag your tail?